In this video, I'm gonna share with you some major luxury bag trends of 2024 for fall 2024 and going forward. I've got some luxury bags that are kind of looking out of style, look a little bit dated, because I know y'all love the controversy. I know you do, I love it too. And it just it just makes it more exciting, right? And so I'm gonna defend anybody. We'll talk about that more later. I got two bags on that list that I even currently own and wear and have and enjoy at this moment. Um, I've also got some bags that are luxury bags that are under $2,000. I've got some that are under $500. I've just, I've got all kinds of things in this video. This has been a requested video for a long time and I've never done one. So I wanted to finally do one and it may be three, three hours long. Um, it might be, I, I apologize. Anything that I talk about in this video, I will also link in the description box below. So first of all, big major twin, ugh, twin. First of all, big major trend for 2024 and fall 2024 is big, huge bags are in, teeny tiny micro mini bags are out. Now I'm mostly talking about those really teeny tiny bags that were on trend several years ago, which is the trend is leaning more towards larger bags, oversized bags. A lot of designers are featuring larger bags rather than itty bitty teeny ones. Now I still love a small bag for like an evening look and that kind of thing. I don't think that really ever goes out of style, but I kind of doubt that any of us you watching got into the really teeny tiny bags because they were kind of impractical. But we are seeing the really large bags kind of rule the show for right now and going into fall 2024. So the first bag I want to mention only because I just love it. I don't know why. I can't explain it, but I love it. It's a very on trend bag right now. It is the Loewe Squeeze Bag. Have you seen this bag? I don't know why, but I am in love with this bag. Um, it is versatile. I feel like this is me like convincing myself how what a good deal it is. It is very versatile. You can make it into a shoulder bag or a crossbody. Um, you can adjust the chain and it's just a beautiful bag. And I will say Loewe is a bag brand. They still hand make all their, their bags and they're still a really well-made high quality bag brand. I don't think you can really say that about every luxury designer brand, but you can say that about Loewe. I love the squeeze bag, but I do think this was kind of a response, response is the right word, to the Chanel 22. So in 2022, Chanel came out with their Chanel 22, 22 bag, which you know, I like it, but some about it I'm just not super into, but that is a very popular bag right now as well. But I have seen some bad reviews on the Chanel 22, like the, just the quality doesn't seem to be there and just people are not as impressed with it as they feel like they should be for it to be a Chanel bag. So I do think these two bags have the same vibe. I just personally love the Loewe squeeze bag and this Loewe squeeze bag, since we're on the subject, uh, kind of goes into one of the big trends for right now and into fall 2024 and beyond. And that's a lot of hardware. So you're gonna see a lot of hardware on luxury designer bags. Even the Chanel 19, which has been around for several years, it is kind of having a moment right now. It's a very on-trend bag and it falls into this category. There's one bag I found on Shopbop and I forget the brand, but it is so cute. I think it's under $500. It has the hardware. I love the texture. I just love this bag. You'll have to let me know what you think. Another bag that falls into this category is the Bottega Sardine bag. I do love Bottega and I love the quality of Bottega, um, but I did find kind of a dupe. I wouldn't, I don't know if you'd say a dupe because that sounds like somebody straight up copying it, but a very similar looking bag for about a hundred dollars on Anthropology. Kind of gives that same look. I do believe that one is um, a vegan leather. It's not real leather. Now, if you were a Louis Vuitton fan, I would look at the Go 14 bag. It also has this hardware. It has this beautiful pillowy texture, beautiful bag if you like Louis Vuitton. And I love that this bag just makes me want to make it into a pillow. <laughs> very soft. Have you guys seen this trend on social media where people talk about these high maintenance things that they do in order to be a low maintenance person? So I love this trend. And one of those is to really take good care of your body and your skin on your body every day so that it just always looks good. So I'm super excited to share our sponsor for this video today, especially if you like to maintain your skin health and that is Osea. Osea creates skincare that is clinically tested and powered by pure potent seaweed and active botanicals. It's female founded and family operated since 1996. I have two amazing products that I've been using during my shower time. One is this body scrub. It exfoliates the dead skin off my body, especially on my legs that get really dry. Let me just tell you, this is the most deliciously moisturizing body scrub I have ever tried. And it's gentle but effective and it includes shea butter. So it's always adding moisture to your skin. And then I like to use the algae body wash 
splash all over my body, which is non-stripping and it helps support your skin's moisture barrier. I moisturize when I get out of the shower and my skin just looks so much smoother after the shower as well as just continuing throughout my day. I do have a 10% coupon code for you if you wanna give Osea a try. If your skin gets really dry and dull like mine does, I do highly suggest these two products to use in combination with each other. I will leave links to this um, in the description box below as long with my discount code and let's get to bring in a bag that is uh, considered a little bit out of style, okay? And um, it's a bag that I have, I currently have, currently use it, I currently love it. It's the Gucci Marmont. And I know like 75% of you are like, no, I, that's never, it never, it, it, but it is. It just kind of is. It like, it got so big. And the thing is, this is one of those bags that when you see it, you're kind of like, is it a real or is it a fake? Because it's one of the most like duped bags like ever. but this bag just it got so 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 big so many of us i say us because i have one as well have this bag and it's just been a such a popular bag but it is getting dragged <laughs> dragged on social, on social media number one is going to be the gucci marmont bag just look at this bag if i've ever seen 2014 encapsulated in a luxury designer bag it's in this image here there was even one girl on uh, social media that was talking about how she went to Saks all fifth and there was just like piles of Gucci Marmot bags, not even like neatly displayed, but just like in piles, which was kind of like, why, why are you treating them like this? It was kind of off-putting, but also just a very clear indication that these are just not, not the it bag anymore. There is a part of me that feels like the Gucci Marmot is just, it's one of those that it's gonna come back kind of thing. It's like, I don't know if I would say classic, but I feel like it's like a, Maybe it's just, just everyone's kind of over it right now, but it, it'll, it'll be back, you know? And hopefully people will stop making dupes. Now this bag, I definitely don't think anyone should get rid of or even stop wearing it, my goodness, because it is in a very expensive bag. But it is just one that I think got oversaturated in either the real ones or the fake ones. And maybe we just need a break from it. And I say we, I actually mean you guys, because I'm still gonna use mine. I love mine, y'all. I absolutely love mine. That is one thing I do love about luxury, high quality bags is that maybe you do get tired of them, but you put them away for a while and then you bring them back out and they kind of are yours forever. Um, that's the way I feel about it anyway. Let's talk about the row for a second because the row is a very, very big player in this luxury handbag world right now. And their quality is really good. They are, you know, they're all about this quiet luxury. They don't have huge logos everywhere. Um, not that that's any reason to be buying this because you're all about quiet luxury. They have really well designed and really beautiful bags. They're just very, very well made, like emphasis on quality and construction, not so much bling. There's a couple bags I wanna mention by the row that are very on trend right now and there's one of them I feel like a lot of people don't like but they might later on one of them is the Margot it's actually been around for several years but I do feel like 2024 and 2025 is it's the it's like the year that everyone's kind of starting to recognize it and it's getting right up there with the Kelly bag with the Birkin bag that kind of status level of a bag now if you like the look of the Margot it's kind of in that same family but it's under a thousand dollars is the Demulier Demulier am I saying that correctly I hope I am um that's a a bag brand I really love and they have a tote that I really love that I feel like it falls into this category but you know much better priced and I feel like this is a great alternative if you like that look and you still want this like beautiful classy classic sophisticated look but you don't want to go the luxury designer route this bag is around six hundred dollars and I just think it's a really great value for what you're getting another bag from the row there's two bags from the row that I actually really really like one of them and it's a very on-trend bag, but it's the Bindle bag. It comes in two sizes, and I don't personally love hugely oversized bags that just seem, I'll put everything in the world in there, y'all. I'll put like snacks for myself and my neighbor, and um, and like just, I'll put everything in there, so I don't want that. But I do love this Bindle bag. I'm not sure why, but I just love something about it. I really, really love, and I feel like it's a good price range. The Bindle is under 2,000, I believe. Now, if you like this bag, but you only wanna spend like $100 on something similar, I did find a very similar style. Um, it's not leather, it's vegan leather, but at Anthropology. so they've, Got a lot of cool bags this year for around $100. I will link that one below. It comes in different colors, same kind of look, but just not, you know, obviously in that price range. An out of style bag, another one that I own. And um, it is, it's, I don't even, can't even say it's on its way out. I think it may just be kind of like out, but it's the mini Jody bag. So it's by Bottega. And I, if you've watched my channel for a while, you've seen this bag. I, and I thought long and hard about this. 
I love, and I still love this bag. The only regret I have with this bag is that I didn't get the lilac color, but I had my heart set on the green for so long. And then I went into, I forget where, I, I think I bought it at Bloomingdale's. And I went in there, I looked at all the colors, but I was like, oh my gosh, the lilac, it's so pretty. And I love the lilac, but I was like, I had my heart set on the green, let me go with the green. But in hindsight, I kind of wish I would have done the lilac. In any case, doesn't matter. But that is a bag. The mini Jody is considered a little bit, but it's a little bit out of style. The larger ones, there's the larger Jody bags that are, they look very much more, much more classic, but they're just the mini bags in general are just kind of, you know, look a little bit a few years ago. I still love my bag. I mean, with, with these kinds of bags, you know, for me, I don't buy them because they are like the thing or the big on trend thing. I just, I have to have like some kind of like soul connection with it. <laughs> and if I have a soul connection with that bag, then I don't care what anyone says. But anyway, love this bag. I will say though, nothing to do with being on trend or not. Um, the complaints with this mini Jody bag is that the zipper is a little bit tough and it's, it's not a practical bag. It's just not practical. So I kind of bring it out for like an evening look when I want a green bag. Um, it was not the most practical color. I will give you that. And in the Bottega world, the um, more classic and, and very much on trend style right now are the Andiamo bags from Bottega. There's several different sizes in this style, but that is definitely the mo more on trend Bottega bag of the moment. They do have a beautiful work bag in this Andiamo style. And then they do have this more east west type Andiamo bag, which is a really cute bag. I will talk a little bit more about that style in a moment, but I love that as well. That's probably a more classic version and it's more on trend, but it's also very classic in the Bottega world, um, much more so than the Jody collection. Another couple bags that are very on trend right now in that kind of hobo slouchy bag trend that's happening right now. One is the Louis Vuitton low key bag. This one is big and beautiful, more of a bucket style bag, but the one I like even better than this one in this category is the Prada slouch bag. It's called Prada slouch bag. This one feels just a little bit more functional, um, although it might be a little bit too big for my taste, but both are very beautiful, very on trend bags. The Kate Olivia Hobo bag, I've had my eye on for a very long time. I just, I really love this bag for some reason. And it comes in lots of different colors. It comes in suede. Suede is another bag trend that we're seeing for this year, for this fall. Um, it's just a fun bag. I like the shape. I just think it's very interesting. And most of these are under $2,000. Okay, let's mention a couple out of style bags real quick. Um, this is gonna, it's gonna hurt, okay? And I'm just, listen. I know, I know y'all come here for the controversial stuff. I know it's fun. You don't take anything to heart about any of this stuff, but in the luxury bag world, a couple of bags that are just kind of considered out of style. Um, one is the Louis Vuitton Never Full Bag. And honestly though, if you were looking at bags right now and you wanted something similar to, and you, or you wanted the Never Full Bag, it's gone up in price like a whole bunch since they first came out which is kind of annoying. Um, but it just, you know, this is a bag that it was hugely popular for the longest time. And there have been so many fakes that have been made of this bag. It's just, you know, it, it just, this, it's just life. That's just what happens when things just get like oversaturated. They just kind of tend to run its course. So another thing I would never be like, oh, I can't wear this anymore. Like, no, to wear your bag, you know, do your thing. No one's looking at you being like, oh my God. I mean, if they are, they need to get a life. But um, this is generally considered like not the it bag of the moment. Another not it bag of the moment would be the Christian Dior book tote, which I've heard is really heavy. I've never owned one of these, either one of those actually. Um, but that one is also another one that it's been, it's been faked a lot, lots of fakes with this bag. And with the whole like quiet luxury thing, which I hate mentioning that all the time, but basically just the trend had kind of gone to, or has kind of gone to not so much huge logos everywhere. It's more like teeny tiny logos or just a little logo, not, you know, bling billboard logo. Um, this bag just, it's just not it anymore. Now a bag to replace these, not replace, but if you were going, if you were looking for a bag like this, um, one that I think would probably be, be be a better option and it's cheaper. It's a lot less expensive than these and it's just gonna last you a lot longer. It's more classic looking, but it's the YSL shopping tote. It's the same kind of style, the same kind of idea, but it just has a teeny tiny logo on it. It's a very classic, classy looking bag. It's not gonna go out of style. Um, I just think it's a better value. It's under $2,000, whereas these other ones I think are over $2,000. So 
that's just that's just my opinion but i just feel like that one's a lot more classic the loewe flamingo clutch i just said that four times um <laughs> i'm gonna have to edit those out the loewe flamingo clutch it has been updated for fall and includes a chain and as we talked about chains are a big thing for this fall now any color in this bag is going to be beautiful and very own trend but me personally, the one that I really like is I love that green. I don't know what it is, but I love this green in this bag. It is so beautiful. Tell me it's not beautiful, okay? Try to tell me that because I ain't gonna listen because it's so beautiful. Again, I get like a little soul connection to things and I cannot explain it, but I love that color. Let's talk about the Loewe puzzle bag. Now, the large puzzle bag, the large puzzle tote in this is also another good alternative to the Neverfull or the Dior book tote. And I feel like these have a little bit more unique design to it. The most popular bag in this collection is probably the handle puzzle bag, which is very versatile, a great size, has a really unique look. I think my favorite bag in this collection is the shoulder bag. I know it's probably more boring than the other two that um, I'm mentioning, but I just, I kind of like this one. It just seems like a very practical everyday bag but it is a little more unique than your basic shoulder bag but I feel like all of these bags in this puzzle collection are very hot right now very on trend and also I just don't think that they will date as quickly as a lot of other bags so we talked about quite a few bags that have this more hobo or slouchy or oversized kind of look but another trend that is happening right now and for fall 2024 is the top handle tote some of these are a lot more exaggerated than others but it's kind of cute and it just keeps with that cute little like elevate your outfit very easily structured little bag my favorite bags in this category are the maxi montreal in by Demillier. I actually am looking at this as a possible work tote because I need one and I've just been dragging my feet on it because I want to find the perfect one but I actually really like this one um, for that purpose. It's just very functional. It's a very like very functional but practical and classic looking bags. I really really like this one. It's under a thousand dollars. Now you're also seeing this top handle on a lot of these baguette bags, this east-west design. And this baguette shape or this more rectangle shape like this is something we are seeing a lot of. It's a very big trend right now. Now in this category, there's one by Prada that I think is really cute. And I just, I think it looks, looks very, a little more classic than some of them do. And it's just very classy looking. And Prada has another one in this same um, kind of style. It's a little bit more exaggerated of a shape, but I do think these are kind of fun bags and you know, they're a little bit more practical than some huge oversized bag. Dior has even come out with a Lady Dior bag in the rectangle shape. The one that I really do like in this category of the East West is the Bottega Andiamo style, which I kind of mentioned before, but I do feel like maybe that's a little bit more classic um, than some of these other ones that are just super exaggerated, but we'll see. One trend I will continue to be talking about well into fall is that red and burgundy bags are just a huge trend for this fall 2024 and just 2024 in general and even in shoes and in accessories and just in clothing like it's just a very big trend red and burgundy now in this category of the burgundy bags there's a gucci bag called the jackie bag that comes in this color and i think it's so beautiful i feel like this one looks less trend driven and more classic even though it is in this trendy color <laughs> Now, oddly shaped bags are kind of a trend right now as well, as you probably kind of noticed. You'll see some bags come out that just like, just a little bit not your normal shape. And one bag I love in this category, and I actually might get it because I just really, really love this category. I can see it being one of my like everyday bags, but it's by the row. It's well under $2,000. It's called a half moon bag. I just think this is such a fun bag. I like that it's got an interesting shape. It feels very easy to pair with a lot of other items. It does come in other colors besides the burgundy. And I love this bag. I just really, really think this would be a great addition to my closet, but we will see. Two more brands I wanted to point out that are well under $1,000. I think most of their bags are under $500 and they are a luxury bag company. Both are luxury bag companies, but they they're just they're not thousands of dollars and they're beautiful so one is songmont i've talked about songmont before i work with them sometimes and i have a few songmont bags i have one that i wear or I take with me everywhere because it's a four in one bag um, i have it in red i have it in beige but i love this bag and i don't know if you've seen this guy on tiktok who is like a professional leather expert or something but what he does is he gets these designer bags and takes them apart and decides like looks at all the way they're made and everything and tells us whether they are worth the money like he tells us that if they're actually like really well made or not so he did one for songmont and he was like this is such a great value like it was one of the best 
values that he had found in the bag world. Another company that I think is really great and people just aren't talking about, but it's um, Mansour Gavriel. I hope I'm saying that right. It's another brand that just has beautiful leather bags. I think they also make shoes as well. And they're just really beautiful classic style bags that are very well priced and they just have a really good reputation for very high quality bags. So if you're looking for handbags that still have that same like luxury designer quality, but not the prices, I mean, these are two companies that I would definitely check out. And of course I will link them below. Now again, let me reiterate, please do not get rid of anything that is considered out of style by the masses or anything like that. I will not be getting rid of mine. I mean, I. I, I just, I love what I like. I like what I like. And so, you know, you don't need to make any apologies to anyone. It is fun to hear about, and that's probably why you clicked on this video because it is fun to see what's going on in the fashion world, but it should never make you, um, get rid of something that you really love like ever 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 so that was i feel like this is a really long video of some luxury bag trends that are happening right now there are so many more bags to talk about and you know if you want me to do another video like this you know i maybe try to do it seasonal or something like that i was trying to pack a lot into this video but you know always just go with what you like love that's what I do. I mean, there would just be something and I see it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't tell you why, but I love this. And that's kind of what I, and then I think about it for six months, but that's kind of how I go about these things. In any case, I hope this video was helpful and you enjoyed it. And um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, subscribe, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I want to stick around. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. You can check out these other videos over here if you want to. And uh, I'll see you next time.